Amen. Amen. What a wonderful morning that God has given us. And I thank God because we have woken up strong and so much wonderful more than we were yesterday because God is doing something to us. I want to appreciate God because he has been talking to us and our topic has been opening up our mouth so that God may fill us with his own understanding, with his own knowledge, with his own words that we can speak in such a time that we need God's blessing. And our and our reference has been uh, Psalms number 81 starting from verse 1. You go down up to verse 10, you'll see what we are saying. Now this time around, I want us to look if God is promising us to open up our, uh, our mouth so that he may reveal us. How does he reveal himself? How does he reveal himself to us? Number one, I want to talk about how God reveal himself to us so that we may be having faith that he's going to do what he told us. I want to say that God reveal himself as God of love who is so passionate. How does not God reveal himself as God of pa a God who is passionate? I want to read uh, in the book of Psalms 56 verse 8. You know what? God sympathize with us and he he feel and he feel sorrow and he feel what we feel. The way you are feeling, God knows about it and he's feeling the same concerning you. And th when I read these Psalms, this amazes me. And I said, oh my God, could be you know the, the, the tears or the measure of my tears. The Bible says in Psalms 56 and verse 8, you have counted my wandering and you have put my tears in your bottle. Hallelujah. I want to, you to know that we serve a God of passion. We serve a God who is so passionate and he feel and sympathize with us because he said every tear that we cry, he normally put it in his bottle so he knows the measures of our crime. We should go before the Lord and every tear you pour down God measures it and he does not measure it for the sake. He is going to repay it back in full measure. He is going to fulfill the promises that he made with you because every tear that you shed, it is not just for the sake. God knows about it and he put it in a bottle and when I was reading down there, he was saying and I recorded in my book every tear that you have shed. There is a reason and there is a payment for it regardless or provided you did it for the for the for the glory of God he is going to measure it and he's going to record it no tear will be forgotten my dear friend you are supposed to wake up and shed tears before the Lord because he's faithful he is recording this is amazing this amazed me and I want to ask you how many liters have you shed of tears? Because God is telling us that he records this in his book and in due time he's going to repay it back. We serve a God of passionate because when we shed tears he's so more concerned about those tears. He's so much concerned about why you are crying and he's recording in his book and in due time he's going to repay it back because he's a faithful God. Hallelujah. Every time that when we shed our tears, he know the measure. He measure it our tears. He record it so that he may not forget. So that when he come to pay, he is going to pay it in full because he's a faithful God. And number two, when you read in Psalms 8, 8 verse, verse 5, you have fed them with the blood of tear in blood measure. Hallelujah. When God measures our tears, then he look at our, 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 our enemies, them that does not trust in God, they have fed, God fed them with the blood of tears in full swim. Now, your tears 
when it, whenever it is will, will be white it will be given to your enemies then that our they, they were laughing because of you are crying them that were watching you crying they are going to be fed with the blood of tears they are going to be given in blood measure because when the tears come in the morning but uh, in the afternoon but when the uh, uh, money comes the joy fills our heart don't rejoice my enemy when you see me crying don't enjoy because cries come in the afternoon but when we comes in the morning there is joy in heaven and there is joy in our heart because our god is trustworthy because our god knows about us and in psalms 116 verse 8 the bible says that our god will deliver our feet from tears and he will wipe away our eyes from tears so no matter how you are crying the cry is for the afternoon but i want to, pra- to to promise to you i want to tell you that it is according to god's will that is going to remove your feet from crying he is going to remove your feet where you are crying and falling is going to remove your tears is going to remove to wipe away your tears revelation 717 god will wipe away our tears when we come to revelation he is going to wipe away our tears meaning he is not going to begin with the tears and end with the tears we are going to be wiped our tears rejoice not my enemies when you see us crying rejoice not it is a matter of time our tears will be wiped in genesis we started with the tears but in revelation we are finishing with the promise of god that is going to wipe away all our tears mon i am telling you my neighbor i am telling you my viewer that, that you started with the tear the end is coming you will not end with the tears you are going to rejoice because revelation chapter 7 verse 17 tell us so that our god is coming though he had delayed though he has delayed he is coming now when there was genesis where we were crying because we were removed out of the shamba now this is the revelation where we are rejoicing because the promise of god has come to make sure that our tears are wiped you will not cry forever you will not have tears forever the lord has come to wipe away your tears and the joy is coming your joy is coming. me so stand strong because god is revealing himself as god of passionate he count our tears he know the measure he has recorded it and he's saying i have come to wipe away your tears so stand strong because we serve a god of passion we serve a god who is full of passionate and he is able he is the beginning and he is the end when you started with the tears you are not going to finish with the tears because the revelation say that he has come to wipe away our tears hallelujah But the Bible says that, that he feels our groan. Number one, I have told you, he revealed himself as a god of passion because he count our tears. Now number two, the Bible says in Exodus chapter 2 verse 24, the Bible says and God heard their groaning and remembered this covenant with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Hallelujah. The Bible says that God feel our groans and when he had their gloom my my friend when god had the gloom the, the way they were wailing the way the their heart were wailing when he had that he remembered the promises that he kept with abraham isaac and jacob you know why you are gloaming it is because you have to touch god with your gloaming and your gloaming is not in vain the bible says god had their gloaming and that is when he remembered his promises that he kept with Abraham that he kept with Isaac and that he kept with Jacob and he came to fulfill them the bible also says in exodus chapter 6 and verse 5 i have heard the groaning of the israelites and i have decided to rescue them hallelujah it is through the groaning that when you continue groaning my friend that is when when the Israel 
Israelite to our glory. The God of Israel had their glory and he said, I have had it and I have come to rescue them. My friend, do not worry when they hear you glory because the glory, the glory, the God of Israel is coming to rescue you. They had it about they had about you. They had you glory, but tomorrow is coming. Today is another new day. God has had it. If you read Jeremiah chapter 45, verse 3, Lamentation, verse 1, the chapter 1, verse 4, and Lamentation, verse chapter 1, verse 21, and also Lamentation, chapter 1, verse 22. You will see all what how God was touched by the glory of his people. And he said, I cannot hold my peace again. I cannot sit down and watch my people gloaning. I will come down and see why they are gloaning. And I want to rescue them. Hallelujah. Your gloaning has come to God. Your gloaning has gone up to heaven. And God is concerned about it. And he has decided, I cannot sit down again. I cannot rest in my throne when my people are gloaning. I will come and rescue them. Don't you worry if they had you yesterday glory because today is another new day and God has decided because of your glory I will not hold my peace. I am coming down to make sure that I rescue my people. He is not coming in peace. He is coming to rescue you. And you know when he decides to rescue you no matter who is holding you no matter who is fighting you he has has decided I will set my people free and the Bible says when he came down he told Pharaoh let my people go I cannot have peace when my people are groaning your groaning have come to God your tears have been known by God and your groaning have come to God and he's concerned about it. And number three, he record our prayer. Praise the name of the Lord. This all, the point that I'm giving you, it is to prove to you that we serve a God who reveal himself as a passionate God. He records our prayer. John chapter 5 verse 4 to 15. And this confidence we have in him, the, 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 when we ask of anything, he provide and he asks answers. We have confidence in him that when we ask of anything, he normally gives us. Psalm 66 verse 19 but truly God has listened and he has attended to the voice of prayer. Hallelujah. God has listened and he has answered my prayer according to my request. This is David who is talking in Psalm 66 verse 19 that a God of glory has heard my prayer. My friend, we are going for a break. I can't imagine we are going for a break. And it is becoming better and better. Because we serve a passionate God who count our tears, who also feel our groaning, and also who record our prayers. After we, after break, we are going to come back and see how God reveal himself and how we can have faith in him that is going to fulfill what he telling us to open our mouth and reveal us. If he's revealing himself to, like this, it means that he can be able to do it to us and to reveal us. Don't touch that day. Enjoy the worship. We are coming back. Amen. Wow, what a worship we thank God because I told you I normally tell you and I'll never go away a little of telling you that there is nowhere else you can get such a worship. It's only in CTN and especially in this program of allies. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Before we went for a break, I was telling you that God is revealing to us as God of full of passionate. Hallelujah. And he's so much concerned about it. And I said that he count our tears. I didn't know that he do it. I didn't know that he records. And I said in Psalms 56 verse 8 that he records our tears and and, and I said number two, our God 
Feel our, uh, our God, feel our groans. And I said in Exodus chapter 2, verse 24, he, he feels our groan. When we wail, he no matter feel it. And number three, I said, he record our prayer. No prayer that we do or no petition we take to God, that is a waste. He records it and in due time, he will refill, fulfill it. My dear brethren, don't feel weary. Don't get tired tired of praying because our God, no man record our prayer. If I read for you in the book of Psalms 116 and verse 1, the Bible says, I love the Lord for he has heard my voice and my uh, and my plea in the my uh, in mercy, hallelujah. David was saying, I love the Lord. This man was just like a human being, he was a human being like we are. But he said, I praise the name of the Lord and I love the Lord for he has heard my prayer. If he heard the prayers for David, then he can hear you also. If he heard the prayer and he, he came and answered the prayer, then just know that he can hear your prayer and come to fulfill what he had promised you. God is full of passionate and he is so much concerned about you. So big up my brother. Wake up and stand strong because we have a God who reveal himself as a passionate God. Praise the name of the Father. Also God reveal himself as a powerful God who delivered Israelites out of captivity, out of of their bondage. He made sure that he liberated them out of captivity where they were beaten, where they were dismayed, where they were rejected. But he made sure he liberated them out of captivity. So even if you are in captivity, God is there for you. If he did it to the Israelites, this is a clear mirror that we serve a God who is a father. We serve a God who is so powerful. He is hard when he he start a war. He never fails and he never lose any battle. You should know that we have a mighty warrior and a person who had never failed and who have never lost any battle. So you are supposed to stand up, be strong enough, know that God will fight for you from January. He will fight for you even at the end of the year. He will not let your food dismay or he will never let you go astray. He will hold you he will fight for you. And the Bible says, he talked to the Israelites and he told them, the enemy you see today, you will never see them anymore. For I, the Lord, I am fighting for you. There is God who is fighting for you. There is God who is standing with you. There is God who is already fighting your battle. When you see heaven is quiet, when you see God is quiet, it does not, he has, does not mean that he has forgotten about you. He is preparing the war. He is preparing himself to fight like a man, to fight like God because he has never lost any battle. He is waiting to see every challenge you are being challenged so that he may come in and fight your battle. He is so powerful. Hallelujah. God is revealing himself. Mighty Jesus, this is becoming so good. God is revealing himself as God of love, whose pity is so tender. God is revealing himself uh -huh, as God, whose pity is tender. How does not God reveal himself like that? In Psalms 147, number 3, the Bible says, he heals the broken hearted and bind up their wood. Hallelujah. When we believe in God, he is revealing himself as a God who is pity and so tender. Because to the heart that are broken, the heart that are broken, he heals them. The wounds that are pulled in the blood, he, he covers them because he's so powerful, because he's so tender. He cannot let you astray. He cannot let you die in the wilderness. He cannot let you 
you die without heart broken. He is there for you. Are you there and you are broken? Are you there and you are feeling that your heart broken? Stand up again because our God is so tender. And in Psalms 147, and the Bible says that he is a lady to heal your wooden broken spirit and to work upon you. And you know what the God told me, it is me who hurts you and it is me who covers your wood. He is there to cover you. Any wood that you have, you are wounded by your brethren. You are wounded by people who does not have favor in you. Who does not care about your welcome? Who does not care about your health? You are wounded. We have a God who healed the wounded, broken spirit. And wood, they, he covered them well so that you may stand again. You have a God who cares for you, whose pity is tender. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 1, verse 78 to 79. The Bible says, because of his tender mercies, the sun shall rise visit us from the high to give life light and those in the, who sit in darkness and in the, the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. Hallelujah. Even if we walk at the shadows of death our God is revealing himself as a pit uh, uh, whose pit is tender that when we go to the when we go to the valleys of death he is there for us holding our hands telling us wake up my daughter I I am here for you. Wake up my son. You are still strong. You cannot lose this one. If you do not lose it in January, you cannot lose it today. Wake up being strong. Wake up and grow. Wake up and grow, uh, grow stronger. Wake up and continue doing what you are supposed to do. Don't show the devil you are down. Stand up and shout and say you are strong. Hallelujah. Because our God even when we are in the valley of death. He is there walking with us and talking to us, telling us, I am still with you. Hallelujah. When you go to the book of Luke chapter 15, verse 20, the Bible says when the son, this is the prodigal son, when he ran away the father saw him and he felt compassionate from him and kissed him. Even if you have gone astray, even if you walked out of salvation, God is waiting for you and he's ready to hold you back and to tell you my son, welcome my masses are still there my, my masses endure forever come back to the kingdom because I am waiting for you Hallelujah. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 10. As the ego covers his young ones, the same thing God covers us. You remember the story of a man who was going, moving from uh, Jericho, going somewhere and he was beaten by, the, by people and he was left in the roadside. The Bible says then the first person came and passed. The second one passed. But the third one decided, I will take care of this person. The same thing God is speaking to us. He is telling you, even if you are beaten, even if you are excommunicated and you are left at the roadside to die, you will not die because I am God whose my pity is so tender. I will raise you up again. I will stand with you. I will fight for you. Why are you feeling discouraged? Yet still your master is so vigorous, fighting for you. He's so ready to fight for you. Wake up and stand up again. Wake up and move again. Wake up and continue. Our God is faithful and he is ready to take you from the Lord's side and to welcome you back to his kingdom. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 31 and verse 3 the Bible says, the Lord appeared to him as a farmer say, I have loved you with all everlasting love. Hallelujah. Even when people cannot love you, Jeremiah experienced the same. You are not the first one. You are not the first one to be rejected. Jeremiah felt the same and he was rejected by his own people. Even he was told that they are going to remove their name in the book of the Lord so that he may be forgotten only because he was preaching the gospel. I have come with good news because the Lord appeared to him and told him Jeremiah why are you so down when people reject you? I have not rejected you. I am the one who called you. I am the one who covered you. I am the 
one who put the word in you, wake up again. I have come because my love is internal. My love is never bound. My love is never measured by men. I have loved you with the love that is internal. My dear friend, why are you feeling like quitting? Because everybody has hated you. Because everybody has turned against you. Because nobody is showing you love. I am promising you. Our God promised Jeremiah the love he had for him is internal. Why are you discouraged? Because of the love that is not real. People will love you today, but tomorrow they will reject you. But when God loves you, his love is internal. I want to welcome you back to the love of God. The love of God is internal. The love of God is true. The love of God is real. It is the only person who can love you with a real love. Many can reject you. People can look at you and reject you. Even there are people who are watching me and they are feeling, I hate this woman, but I love the Lord because his love is real. And the love of God is okay with me. Hallelujah. Some of us it does not mean that we are loved so much. It doesn't mean that the love of people has been pushing us. No, we are rejected. We were rejected. But when God lays you up, they will love you whether they like it or not. Wait upon the Lord. Conquer the battle. Fight the battle. Wait until the battle is over. When you go to the higher level, they will love you whether they like it or not because you carry their word. Because you carry their wisdom. Because you carry their, their rescue. I want to tell you, don't feel discouraged. Don't quit the ministry. Hallelujah. I told you before, God did not promise us that it is going to be easier. But he said, my masses, and my, 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 he said that I'll give you patience. He said, I am will with, be with you. I'll be with you wherever you go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want to tell you, them that you are feeling the hatred, open your mouth widely. Our God is revealing himself as a father who loves us. I know God loves you. And I'm telling you God loves you. And his love is eternal. And his love is real. I love you too. And God loves you. I want to pray for you because I know you're experiencing the same I was experienced days ago. Let us pray, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, as it is written in Romans 5.5, 5, Lord, cause the Holy Spirit to saturate our heel with love, with love that is internal. We thank you because you love us so much. That is why you gave your son for us. We thank you because my viewers, you are going to fill them with your love. And the Holy Spirit will saturate his, your love to them which is internal. We thank you and we love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And you are there, you are not born again, and you are saying, I, I would like to be loved by that love. Repeat after me, say, Lord Jesus, here I am. I know I'm a sinner, but I desire to be loved by you, the love that is internal. I'm born again, and I love you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. I was your preacher, Pastor Mother Mboche from Kariubagi South, Victorious Faith Chapel. And my friend, there is a number there down the screen. Write to us. Let us know how you feel about the topic. Let us know where you're watching us from. And I know God will bless you. You are loved by God. And when God loves you, nobody else will disqualify you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. We meet tomorrow morning, the same hour, the same station, the same program. God bless you. God bless you.